has been taken from you through an evil act of another person and you need comfort. You are angry today. You may not be expressing it, but deep on the inside because of this injustice. There are many of you who sit today, many of you who are watching, many of you who have stepped outside who are angry. And in your anger, because of the act of evil, you desire peace to quench that anger on the inside. And then finally, somebody has to pay. You're not hearing me this afternoon. Somebody has to pay for this act of evil. And I'm not talking about vigilante justice. I'm not talking about personal vengeance. But I'm saying that justice must be meted out because someone has to pay. And therefore, you desire justice. I'm from New York. I left maybe 20 something years ago, so a lot of people don't really actually know me. Um, and my brother, he was younger than me, he was born on August 10th, 1982. And I say that because for, for me, I kind of looked up to him, even though he was younger than me. And it's kind of weird. I have vivid memories of my brother that it makes me feel warm inside when I think about him. Um, when I have conversations with the people at my job, because I work in New York, when I have conversations with them, they ask me about my brother, they ask me to describe the kind of person he was. And I tell them my brother was cool. Everybody thought my brother was cool. And I actually use the acronym HIT to describe my brother. And I'll tell everybody I was, you know, my brother was honest and humble. He was independent and industrious. He was proud and he was personal. I remember after, my brother got shot. For two days, I tried reaching out to my mother and I couldn't get in contact with my mother and I thought something was wrong with her. And the Saturday when I actually talked to my mom, my mother told me that she's been getting so many calls from people that she was unaware that my brother actually knew, right? That she was just, it was a beautiful thing, but every time she put the phone down, the phone would ring again and it was somebody on the other line that she wasn't even unaware of that my brother was friendly. And that's just how humble my brother was. My brother never walked around and spoke about the people he knew. You know, he was just humble and, and caring for others. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also.